commencement is the signature event on the MIT campus. So then to be asked to create the opening music video to this big event, um, also knowing that tens of thousands of people were going to be ready and waiting to watch this live, that was a real honor and a real privilege. There's a big dream with this piece. I remember when Fred first told us about this piece, he was like, everyone's going to be in it. Every single person we could possibly get is going to be in this piece. And Fred, a man of big ideas. We're talking about marshalling 200 people. <laughs> it was a little crazy. It wasn't just going to be jazz band. It was going to be the vocal jazz ensemble. It was going to be acapella groups. It was going to be mitso. It was going to be wind ensemble. It was going to be choir. My first thought was, wow, this is going to be such an epic way to celebrate commencement. The lyrics from the piece were taken from poetry submitted by MIT students. The tone of it was really personal, a lot of it kind of achingly painful and difficult, but with glimmers of hope and a sense of trying to prevail trying to overcome the challenges of the pandemic. I felt very much that that was reflective of our pandemic experience. It started out really tough, and by the time that we were recording this, we were flourishing. We're going to acknowledge the seriousness and the devastation that the pandemic has caused. At the same time, we're gonna to try to learn from this experience and not just go back to normal because there is no more going back to normal. Being outside in the Stata Amphitheater and playing trumpet alongside the Festival Jazz Ensemble, it was an awesome experience because I actually hadn't really played with people like live for an entire year, basically. There was a certain energy that everyone had because we finally got to see everybody together in the same place, playing together. It felt like a great send off sort of to our senior year. It was pretty amazing that they moved a piano and the drum kit outside the Stata. A beautiful, upright piano. Being able to play on the real instrument made such a difference. I want the music video to bring something to the music that isn't there by just hearing the song. If you're able to cut to a certain instrumentalist at a certain time, you're drawing the listener to hearing such a booming instrument that comes in right at that time. What I wanted to do in the shooting is to have an improvisational aspect to it so that all the camera people present could really use their eyes and ears to frame what looked like the right thing to see at that time. Jamsheed, I think, is really good when it comes to writing for guitar. He really gets what makes guitar sound good. And so he has his own guitar, and he sent the video of him playing the part. Hey, Sebastian, there's probably other ways to play the chords, but this sounded good to me on a dad gad tuning. So you'll make this sing, right? OK. Thanks, man. It's using what we call an open tuning, so we detune the strings of the guitar to be able to play different chords, and the whole guitar sounds different when you do that. A good guitar part can be really fun to play, and this is definitely one of those. Such a climactic moment in the music. Notice what you play music for, moments like those. The 
music department has given so much to me in terms of experiences uh, and friendships. So it was really great to be able to represent music at MIT through this performance.